Okay, so what it do, y'all? It's your boy Ned Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. I want to talk about something. Shit is getting spooky out here, man. And I feel like this world is about to get like real bizarre. Like we about to be in bizarre land for real, cause. This thing where we just allowing anybody without get, getting psychiatric help first, at least evaluation, to just say that you are whatever you are, without being scientifically defined as that and biologically being that, which is defined in the books, this is getting out of hand, man. When you're doing things like telling people they can be whatever gender they want, yes, I said it. I also respect a person's right to legally do that if you are legally allowed to do that. But when you start allowing people to do that, and you start allowing people to say that they're fucking lions and lizards and snakes and allowing them to just get all this surgery so in their head they can feel special because there's some low self-esteem ass people and you're not telling them no, you're stopping people from becoming logical thinking human beings. Um, when you're telling people that they can be anything they want if they just say they are, and you telling them fuck science, you have people like this guy, I think his name is Zeus Nuke, Nuke Zook, Nuke Zeus, I believe. Um. This guy is clearly mentally insane. Um, clearly a man with low self-esteem. I came across this guy on Vlad TV. Um, this guy is insane. Um, he declares that he's black and then he decides to darken his skin. He took, he buys some medicine off Amazon, which was meant for people with erectile dysfunction. The medicine is for people who wants to get their dick hard, but it just so happens that as a side effect, when you're out in the sun, it turns your skin darker. So this guy who just declares he's a black person decides, hey, this is how I'm going to become black. And now he just declares himself black. He's saying things like, I want to save black people and all this other stuff. Who the fuck is you to say you're going to save black people and you're not black? If you were black and you and you decided that you just became black, you would have really did your research and not even be so quick to even call yourself black. Because black is a word that we're not even supposed to be saying because really it's a negative connotation. But we're saying it anyway because that's just something that we're used to. I fall victim to it too. But anyways, who are you? Like, who sent you? Like, you're a government agent, boy. Like, like you're 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 clinically insane. Like, you're you're gonna kill yourself taking all this dangerous meds. This shit's gonna make your dick fall off, or you're gonna have a fucking heart attack. Just because you want some attention. Like, you could never understand what it means to be black. This is white privilege at its highest level. Where a white guy could just wake up one day and say, I'm not white no more. I'm black. What type of fucking arrogance is that? And then he realized that if he wanted to be white again, he could just stop taking the medicine. And, and it'll probably wear off or something like that. Like, what's wrong with this dude? And then, see, I like Vlad, but what the fuck is wrong with Vlad for having this man on his show? Like, for what? Like, you just want to annoy... You just want to annoy like the black people who watch your show or is it because Vlad is not fucking with people like Lord Jamal and my son no more so he want to have an ignorant white dude come on the show so they can say something about it and 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 he gets some attention off that like is, is he playing chess because I've never matter of fact I have seen him interview stupid people before but Back to the Zoom News guy, man. He's killing himself. This is what you call body dysmorphia. Body dysphoria. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I'm high. I'm fucking my words up. But this is what you call body dysmorphia. Like, this dude in white privilege at his best. This dude is just saying, hey, I'm black now. I want to save black people. Now you want to be like, you, you think you're Jesus or somebody? Like, you want to save the people? You want to save the black people? You can't save no black people. You by being white and trying to fake like you're black, you're embarrassing black people. You're embarrassing white people and you're not helping at all. You're hindering the process. Like if you really wanted to help black people, you would claim yourself to be what you are, which is white, and then and then go to bat against other white people who are enforcing white superiority. Wouldn't that be a better thing to do? Yeah, but just look at this guy, man. Like, this guy is, like, he's doing bad. Like, he got the long braids. Like, who? Who do you think he is? Busy bone? Like, what's wrong with this guy, man? The nerve of this nigga right here, man. Like, like first of all, you're looking like Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder. You're looking bad, except he does black better than you. And he does black terribly. Like, you're just like a, like a character, like, like, what is this, the minstrel show? Like, like, seriously, like, like, you're making white and black people look terrible. And all you want is attention. You want fame. You want fame, and you don't have no real talent. So you say, you know what? I'm going to declare myself to be black. So now he's engaging in body dysmorphia. Just because he wants to be black. He has a problem. People like him have a problem. These people need to be put away. Like, 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 this is serious, man. This is bizarre world. And it's and it's only going downhill from here, man. Protect your kids, protect your loved ones. This is Nate Almighty. I'm out.